So there's an overwhelming feeling of gratitude and wanting to dive off from trapped belief, trapped beliefs. In the spirit world, with the spirits, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Between six and seven. Yeah. The six and seven spheres are very um, difficult. It's, the sixth sphere is in some ways very difficult for many spirits because they've become so engrossed in their day-to-day -day life, living this awesome existence where they can create any universe they want, basically. But they're still not experiencing God and they have this feeling start to develop in their soul that, that I'm still missing something. You know how when you have that nagging feeling sometimes, even in the day, you know? Have any of you had that feeling when you walk out the door in the day, I've left something on? <laughs> it's that kind of a feeling, if you can imagine that. But it's that kind of a feeling. They don't know what it is, right? And so they don't know what they left on or what was off, they, but, but they, they feel like they need to investigate it. Just like sometimes you go back in the house go through the whole place and realise you didn't leave anything on, it was just something you felt, right? And they have this feeling, so they investigate more, investigate more, investigate more. The problem is they're so used to intellectual investigation that they won't look at an emotional investigation. They don't understand, in fact, that the soul has a whole different way of experiencing truth than the intellect. The soul is completely different in the way that truth is experienced and felt and, and also enters, the truth enters the soul than the intellect does. So many of us are so used to using the intellect to determine truth and what you need to do is get out of that and start using your feelings, emotions, passions, desires to experience the truth. When they make that shift, for many of them, their progress is very rapid because they don't have any moral issues to work through, they're all dealt with. They don't have hardly any emotions left because they've been there for thousands of years and they've forgotten all of their emotions now about you know the earth existence and the things that they did wrong then and all of the law of compensation stuff has been worked through so they don't have any of those negative experiences. So once they make that switch, they progress quite rapidly. But making that switch can be such a terrible experience because you're, you're going from self-reliance to God-reliance. You're going from being total in personal control of your life to total out of personal control of your life. That's a pretty big shift, isn't it? Even for us on Earth, we realise that shift, right? That's like diving off the cliff like I talked about a few weeks ago. And for the spirit, it's the same experience. Does that make sense? How do they do um, They often have to go back. And they have to go back generally to the third sphere and uh, they learn some truths in the third sphere about the soul that they neglected to learn and then they progress on the soul truths through to the fifth sphere and then they learn more about the soul truths in the fifth sphere and then they can progress to the seventh sphere and then they learn about actually losing the, inter losing the mind as the controlling factor and the soul becomes the dominant factor and that process of actually losing your mind completely and going into soul completely is the process of becoming born again. So, so they have to go through this process of unlearning the intellect and learning the soul.